Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordan and welcome to my May TBR. I am so excited to be getting into May. May is going to be the month of audiobooks for me. You can see behind me moving boxes. I am surrounded by moving boxes. I talked about this in my last video, which was kind of a chatty life update video, but I am moving. My husband has started a new job. He is already in that location. So I will be single-handedly packing up all of our stuff in our house. And that whole time that I'm doing that, I am planning on listening to audiobooks. So fingers crossed that that means I will just be churning through the books this month. April was a lower volume reading month, so I wanna get back into it. And I've got a really exciting lineup of books ahead in May. So let's talk about it. So the first grouping of books that I want to get read this month is books for author events that are happening near me. I don't know what exactly is going on, but the libraries and independent bookstores near me are knocking it out of the park with some exciting authors visiting the area in May. I'm really excited that I get to hit them up before moving out of the area. But the first one on May 10th, Emily St. John Mandel is coming to the Des Moines Public Library. I have read one book by her. I read Station Eleven. I didn't love it, but I have heard really good reviews about Sea of Tranquility, which is her most recent release. I believe it is a slightly futuristic sci-fi kind of dystopian book. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to be my thing, but since I am going to be seeing her speak, I thought it would be worth picking this book up so I can have a little bit more context about what she's talking about. Even if I don't love the book, I do just love hearing authors talk about their work. So so I will be getting this one read early on in the month. And then on May 16th, I will be going to see Abby Jimenez talk at a local library up in Southern Minnesota. She's actually doing an entire Southern Minnesota little book tour. So if you live in that area, definitely look at what libraries she's going to and if any of those locations or dates work for you because I think that is so exciting that she's going around talking about her newest book, Yours Truly. This is a sequel or a companion novel, I think, to Part of Your World, which is a contemporary romance book. I read that one earlier this year, absolutely loved it. I actually just picked up Yours Truly as one of my book of the month picks this month. So hoping I can get both of those books signed and just really excited to hear her speak. And then on May 25th, Christina Lauren is an author duo who is coming to speak at a local independent bookstore near me in Iowa. This is part of a book tour they are doing to market their book, The True Love Experiment, which I believe is a companion novel to The Soulmate Equation. I have read that book and a number of other Christina Lauren books. Somewhat mixed reviews in my enjoyment of them, but I did enjoy The Soulmate Equation. And as a whole, I think they write really fun romance books. So excited to hear them speak. I will be getting a copy of The True Love Experiment at that event, so I won't be able to read it ahead of time unless I get it on audio. But what I can also do is read two books that I do have from them that are backlist titles, Dating You, Hating You, and My Favorite Half Night Stand. They recently came out in these new redesigned covers, which I love. So I could knock these off my TBR and just have read more of their backlist going into that event. And then that event also is being, I think, moderated or led by an author named Denise Williams, who is also a romance author. I have not read any books by her, but after looking into her books, it looks like they have themes that I really enjoy in contemporary romance. And I've seen people I follow give good reviews to her books. So I also want to try to fit in one or two of her books before that event. So if I love them, I can also maybe speak to her, have her sign a book. It looks like her two most popular are How to Fail at Flirting and The Fastest Way to Fall. So I do have almost the whole month to fit in one or two of those books and I would like to do that as well. I do think I will do probably one vlog encompassing all of those events and books. So definitely look forward to that if you also enjoy any of those authors and think that would be fun content to see. And if you are in the Southern Minnesota or Central Iowa regions and you're interested in attending any of these events, I think the Christina Lauren one is sold out already. That was the only one I had to buy a ticket for, but the other two events are just at libraries, free to attend, no registration necessary. So if you wanna see those authors or meet up with me, definitely let me know. Okay, other than those books, I did just pick my two Aardvark picks for the month. Aardvark is a monthly subscription service, really similar to Book of the Month. I've done a couple videos reviewing their picks and they had some really exciting ones this month. So I went ahead and did one main pick as well as one add-on. This month I chose Chain Gang All-Stars by... Nana Kwame Ajay Brenya. Nana Kwame Ajay Brenya. This is a book that I had not heard of until yesterday. I looked into it and people are raving about this one. It is this month's Read with Jenna book club pick. Jordi from the Instagram Jordi's Book Club posted that this book is amazing. It looks to be a science fiction type book that is about 
female gladiators fighting for their freedom within a depraved private prison system not so far removed from America's own. I don't even know how to digest that premise. I am just trusting the rave reviews. I picked it up from Aardvark. It also is one of Libro's ALC picks this month, so I got the audio free through them, which I am so appreciative of. So that is one I am really excited to read. And then I also added on The Perfect Ones by Nicole Hackett. This appears to be a debut mystery thriller about social media influencers which sounds fun, so I took a chance. I will do a reading vlog with those picks as well as the one book that I picked last month and I haven't read yet is What Happened to Ruthie Ramirez by Claire Jimenez. I believe this is a young adult mystery thriller that I have seen good reviews for. So that will be a great little reading vlog to knock out in May. I won't have a book of the month reading vlog this month, not because I didn't pick any books, but because actually the two books that I did pick will fit into other videos. One was Yours Truly, which again, I mentioned for the author events vlog that I will do. And then the book that I added on, I will talk about in a second. Because in May, I also want to do another Reese Witherspoon book club reading vlog. I love keeping up with Reese Witherspoon's book club picks. I generally enjoy them. And I picked up a few of them on my girl's trip in April. The two that I bought physically are Counterfeit by Kristen Chen. I believe this is about two Asian women who start a counterfeit handbag business, which sounds like a fun premise. And then I also picked up LA Weather by Maria Amparo Escandon. I believe this is a contemporary book following a Mexican-American family who is located in an area suffering from wildfires, so they have to like evacuate. And mostly I think this cover is beautiful, so I will take a chance on it. And then to add to that video, the other book of the month book that I picked this month is Did You Hear About Kitty Carr? Which almost sounds a little bit like The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because it's about old Hollywood and this woman named Kitty Carr, who I believe is a white actress who dies and bequeaths her multi-million dollar estate to three young wealthy black women. This one has some really good early reviews, so interested to take a chance on it. And then if I can get any other Reese picks on audio and throw them into that video, I will. The last vlog I have planned for May, we'll see if I can get all of these done. But there is a readathon called the Dystopian Readathon happening. It actually starts May 29th and goes through June 4th, so I guess that vlog will probably be posted in June. But it's a readathon centered on reading dystopian books which I love. I love a good sci-fi dystopian. And I actually have a lot of options that I could pull from for this readathon. We'll see how many I can get through. But the first one that I want to prioritize is called The Ferryman by Justin Cronin. I don't really know anything about the synopsis of this book, but this has actually been picked by Gwen, who is my friend here on YouTube, and she has a Patreon for her podcast called Talk Bookish to Me, and every summer she does a buddy read for that Patreon. Last summer it was The Measure, which is like my favorite book of all time now, so definitely trusting her recommendation and going to be participating in that discussion this year, and The Ferryman is the book that she chose. It's another kind of sci-fi dystopian book, so I'm all in and plan to read it during this readathon week. I also think this would be a good week to read A Perfect Little World by Kevin Wilson. I hadn't heard of this book. I have heard of this author before, but it sounds like this book is about this community that like raises children collectively. So the children don't know who their actual parents are. They just know this perfect little community. So very dystopian in nature. And my friend Lena recommended this book specifically to me because she thought I would like it. And then lastly, a book that I think I could fit in that week is The Terraformers by Annalie Newitz. This is a non-binary author and this is a sci-fi futuristic book about this kind of utopian society set on another planet. They are trying to terraform that planet in order to save the environment and its inhabitants. I've heard good reviews about this one as well. Can you see a theme? So outside of all of those books, which yes, are a lot, um, I also have just other random audiobooks that I want to fit in this month. Again, hoping that I get to do a lot of that with all of the packing and just like house project stuff I'll be working on. Also, my husband is out of town, so what else am I going to do in the evenings other than read books? Um, some exciting ones that I want to get to, a couple more Libro ALCs or advanced listener copies that they've already released are Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune and Drowning by TJ Newman. I featured both of these in my anticipated releases video because I have read and loved books by these authors before. I also would love to read Hookshot by Kennedy Ryan and continue in that romance series. Speaking of romance, also in that anticipated releases video, I featured some queer romances that are coming out in May. If I See You Again by Robbie Couch and You Don't Have a Shot by Raquel Marie. Hoping I can get my hands on those audiobooks and knock them out. And then yeah, we will see where else the month takes me. It's gonna be a busy month. It's gonna be a weird month for myself and my family, but hopefully a great reading month. 
let me know what you have planned to read in May. Also, let me know if you've read any of the books that I've mentioned in this video and what your thoughts were. Other than that, I don't think I have anything else. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.